computer system manages to get the probe working again. It flies away from this hostile planet. The probe suffered immense damage from the impact, but manages to function almost normally. The probe passes through a blue cluster, drawing energy from the radiation. The probe speeds up to intergalactic speeds, searching for a safer galaxy to examine. Entering a distant galaxy, the probe heads towards a planet with water once again. For the first time, the probe visits a planet for a reason other than exploration. The probe has already predetermined its landing spot. This arctic area of the planet is rich with heavy metals perfect for some minor repairs that need to be done. The probe is equipped with nanocells that can actually repair any part of the probe if needed. Although the planet seems desolate, life forms have been detected here, and there's a large oxygen count in the atmosphere. Lining up its approach, the probe travels at an extremely low altitude. The landing area is above the ridge and to the right. The north pole of this planet covers about 35% of the entire surface and has an average temperature of about negative 10 Fahrenheit.